In this video, I will show you how to use your existing Google slideshows or PowerPoint presentations and input them into Nearpod to make them more interactive. So the first thing we want to do is go over to our create button right here, or you can also use the create button in the top. And then click on lesson. This will bring up an untitled lesson with no slides or content or activities in it. You just want to navigate to the middle and click on upload files. From here, you're able to choose from any of the options below. You can upload a PowerPoint presentation from your device. You can upload a Google, or a Google slideshow from your Google Drive. You can select the file from your Dropbox, or you can also select the file from your OneDrive. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use a Google Slideshow from my Google Drive. Once you click on that, it will bring up your Google Drive. You can navigate through and find that presentation that you would like to present to your students. Click on it and then click Select. And then we want to upload these as individual slides so that every slide in my slideshow can be made interactive. So click on that blue individual slides button. Once I select my file, I'll see a little box in my bottom right corner that says that the file is processing. Depending on how many slides you have in your presentation, this processing might take a minute. Once your slides have uploaded, then you can go in and begin to edit and make them more interactive because right now it's still just a Google slideshow. So if I wanted to scroll through, I can delete any of the slides I don't want. So I can click on it, click on delete. I can make any one of my slides interactive like a draw it. So I can click on this one and then go up to the top and click on convert to draw it. It's gonna ask me if I wanna keep a copy of the original slide. I can select yes or no, depending on what you want for your students. And now that slide has become a draw it, meaning that the students can go onto that slide when we get to it and actually respond using the pen tool. So if I preview this, I can see now that my students are able to use the pen tool, the highlighter, the text tool, insert an image, or erase. You can also go in and add new content to your existing Google Slideshow. So I can choose any one of these content and our rich media to add to my lesson. And I can also click on activities and add any of these activities within my Google Slideshow, such as an open-ended question, a time to climb, memory test, so on and so forth. So if I wanted to add an open-ended question, I would click it, type in my question, I can edit it using my rich content editor here, add a timer, add an image or audio or other media here, and enable student audio recordings. Click on save once I have my question the way that I want it. And then I'll notice that I need to scroll to the bottom so that I can see my open-ended question. You can click on it and then move that question wherever you want it to fall within your presentation. So you can drag and drop it wherever it needs to be. Just keep in mind that any new content or any new activity that you choose will always go to the bottom of your slide. So you just need to move it up to where you want it to be by just simply clicking it and dragging it. And once you have it the way that you would like it to be, just go down to your save and exit button. And now your slideshow has been added to your Nearpod library. 